I always think that an editor really makes the film. Uh, they have all the footage that the director and the cameraman and all the uh, rest of the people on, in production has provided him. And he has to make it work. He has to put it together, make it flow. Even though you, you might have a full script in front of you, you uh, it, what looks good on paper sometimes just doesn't come out right on film. So as an editor, you have to turn it around a little bit and uh, change it so that it looks believable on the screen. The thing what I'm working on here is uh, it's an editing console and uh, it's a beautiful piece of equipment because you just have to uh, use a set of rewinds and, uh, and a viewer, which made it a little bit difficult because as you're probably aware, the film runs at 24 frames per second and it's difficult to, to wind it at that speed. And this thing runs at 24 frames per second, which means that I hear the sound correctly. The other nice thing about it is the fact that I have two sound heads, so I can go ahead and add another track. Say, for example, I might be putting sound effects on here and I have the opportunity to, to actually uh, add music at the same time. I attended Boston University where I uh, got a degree in audiovisual communications, and I found that editing was the real creative craft of filmmaking, and that's what I was interested in. So I went ahead and uh, pursued the field, and I was fortunate. Uh, I was able to land a job immediately upon graduation. And uh, of course, some of the things I had to do at first were kind of menial tasks, but owner of the organization saw that I was uh, relatively a creative person. I, I could uh, make things work on the screen. He gave me the opportunity to do some editing. Yeah, Art here. Yeah, hi. Hey. Yeah, I'm on the puff scene now. Yeah, well, uh, you know, as the director, <laughs> you, uh, you have to do me a little favor. I'm going to need some uh, cricket sounds because, uh, as you know... The when I have to work with other people, it sometimes is a little bit difficult to um, share creative responsibility in uh, making a film, uh, because the other person with whom you may be working, either it be the client or the director, although I have few problems with directors, because that's why they choose to work with me, because they, we think very much alike, so that there's very little conflict often. But sometimes the client is involved, if it's, in, if it's an industrial film or if it's a uh, TV commercial. And uh, we have somewhat different tastes. I'm not saying that theirs is wrong and mine is right, but I often have to uh, give in. But sometimes, again, there, there is compromise. Uh, they'll listen to me, they'll listen to some of my ideas, and, and we can kind of come to a, a joint agreement as to uh, what might be best for a particular sequence or or a particular film. Some people think that, you know, that the whole job is probably not enjoyable because you're often alone sitting there at, at, uh, at the editing console, few people around, but I never feel that because uh, kind of I'm, I'm creating something, something's coming to life almost in front of my eyes as I, as I splice footage together and, and uh, to me, it isn't lonely at all. The film is, is keeping me company. And of course, I think the most satisfying part of my job is to uh, actually see the film come alive. And a lot of times people say, uh, well, really, it's the doing that's the most satisfying. But, and, and it is satisfying for me to be doing, making films. But I still have a great deal of satisfaction when I see the thing completed and on the screen, and especially if everything works the way I had foreseen it or, or close to it. And, and it's like not only giving birth to a baby, but seeing it grow up. Often I'm, I'm, I'm involved in social documentaries uh, that, uh, that try to change people's opinion about a many, many things. And if I'm creating this, and, I do, and the film does eventually have an effect on a lot of people, I, I have a great deal of satisfaction because of that.